We'll now look at another example, number two. After doing their homework, the hard-working students decided to meet some friends. What is the essential information here? And what is background information? Now the fact that the sentence begins with the word after should give you already a clue that you have some kind of a subordinate, subord this is a subordinator, so this is a subordinating thing and this comma should also give you a clue. So it's the students decided something. So if we look at the predicate, we have a, a predicator and in that predicator there's a verb phrase and the verb phrase it's, um, so I'll write just verb phrase here just to make sure and there's a lexical verb and that lexical verb is decided. If we now look at the subject of the first divide then we have in that subject we have uh, the subject itself and that consists of a phrase and in that noun phrase there's an adjective and oh this is the wrong way around let's just move that shall we and you've got um, an adjective and a noun and you've got a determinant there. If we look at the first part, after doing their homework, well, that consists of after doing. So this is a, a non-finite clause. There's a non-finite verb there. We'll not analyze that further just yet. Um, if we now go back into the predicate and we had the students decided something. Now the direct object, how is that realized? That's also realized as a non-finite clause. It's to meet some friends. And so it's a, a non-finite clause there. On the A course, I'll not be asking you to, uh, to go into any more detail at this stage. Now, if you wanted to know how to analyze this part anyway, then you could say that you have um, a subordinator and then you have um, you say you'd say you have a subject, but the subject is empty, um, and you have a a predicate. And if you then go into the subject, then this is empty, and in the predicate there's a finite verb, and in that sorry a verb phrase, and in that verb phrase there's an empty. Uh, the finite verb position, that's empty, but you then have a, um, a non-finite verb and this is doing. So, and then you could analyze it further. So, somebody doing, had been doing their homework and then this would be um, uh, a direct object there and so on but we'll not go into that much detail at least in this explanation